Welcome back YouTube, it is Jafer, and today we are gonna be taking a look at the Hottie S by G Wolves. And this is an actual retail copy. Uh, if you've noticed with other reviews that have been out there by all those terrific YouTubers, those are pre-release copies and they've been very transparent about that. Um, and I was not lucky enough to get it. So I waited until launch, I ordered it, and I've been playing with it. And I wanna give you guys my impressions on it. And maybe you can do some cross comparison to see if they've fixed everything that other people have uh, made mention of and if it's the perfect mouse for you. So let's go take a look. All right, guys, so we will go ahead and do a quick unboxing on this. Uh, once you open up this box, you're gonna get this nice tin. I've never had a G Wolf product before, so it's kind of exciting to experience it for the first time. Um, I know that all their other products have had tins and I think even their first one, it actually had like a PUBG uh, theme to it, which was really cool. But uh, opening it up real quick, looks like we have some grips uh, that are actually sealed in a bag, so that way it kind of preserves that freshness, so to speak, of the uh, the rubber so it doesn't dry out. Uh, then we have a little envelope that's going to have a pamphlet and then Looks like some additional feet, which is always a welcome addition. Uh, we have a air freshener. Could I open it? Opening up the package, there's definitely an aroma. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, um, it looks like we have some additional switches, which is really cool. I'm wondering if I'd have to re-solder or these are just like a hot swap. I'll have to look into that, but it's cool that you're getting additional accessories right off the get-go before you even get to the mouse. Uh, looks like we have a braided cable uh, that is micro USB, and that's all black. Then we have the actual mouse itself in all its glory. Um, if you're looking at this and you're saying, my God, does this look like the final mouse ultralight phantom well you would be correct okay uh it is very very much just like it but of course a different shape uh and then it still is a heavy package so make sure when you do get yours you're opening this part up because there's some additional contents in here looks like you have a bag and inside that bag is going to be a brush which i guess it's kind of cool if you want to keep things clean. Uh, I think I'm gonna use this on the keyboard though, more than anything. Uh, I, hey, whatever, a free brush, right? Um, and then of course, this second cable, which is gonna be, I believe the same length, but it's just gonna be in that lighter shade blue. I think I'm gonna rock it, rock this combo. I don't know what you guys think, but let's go ahead and take a look a little bit deeper at that mouse. All right, folks, so this Hottie S is going to retail for $69.90 from G Wolf's website or $84 and some change on maxgaming.com. Your mouse are gonna vary because they're gonna be in and out of stock and the shipping with it being worldwide from China or Sweden is gonna run you between $10 to $30. So factor that in when you're looking at purchasing this mouse. Uh, it does weigh 50 grams on the box. It says 48, but when you factor in the cable, it's just over 50 grams, 51. Uh, the dimensions are gonna be 112 millimeters long, 40 millimeters high, and then 61 millimeters at its furthest point. Um, and it's a pretty aggressive flare, which I do like. Uh, looking at this, it does have the 3389 sensor. And with that 3389 sensor, the DPI is actually adjusted at the top, but you see the little light there, that's going to reflect on your actual DPI setting. So there's four different settings of 400, 800, 1600, and 3200. Um, and then the feet on the bottom are your white PTFE, and they are tapered. You can kind of see the lighting reflect off the edges. Uh, which I do like. Uh, so I mean, the surface area is not going to be as solid as a completely flat mouse uh, mouse feet set, but uh, I don't notice any difference at all when I was gaming in Valorant and getting destroyed by 10-year-olds. So um, bravo to them on including some really nice feet, which you do get an extra set of that you saw in the unboxing. Uh, the cable is going to be your standard 
um, manufactured paracord. It's not going to be as great as something you're going to find from uh, a private independent company like Lethal Gaming. Uh, however, it does do its job for the time being, uh, but definitely check them out if you're looking to get an alternative cable on your mouse. Um, and uh, that was free advertising for them, by the way. They didn't ask for that. Uh, and going from there, you do have your switches, which is going to be Omron 20 millimeter on mouse one and two. And let's go ahead and get a sound test on all that now. Now in that sound test, you might not have noticed it, but the rear side button does have a little bit of some soft clicks, a little bit mushier than say the front. The front is very crisp and very clean, not so much on the rear button. Uh, so that could be something that can be detrimental to you if you're someone that does utilize the side buttons often. Now what's gonna keep them on maintaining such a small weight on this is gonna be its size and its structure. Um, I don't have any flexing of any sort with this mouse. It's very, very well built. Uh, there's some hollowed out portions on the front, which is really awesome. Kind of reminds me of the Mamba, I believe it was, that had that grill on the front. Uh, it looks really cool. I do like that. Uh, the hump itself is gonna be more directed toward the back because you're gonna draw a lot of comparison to other mice out there, such as the, uh, the Mira S that I just recently reviewed. Let me grab that. And so the hump is more pronounced on the middle part of the HK Gaming Mira S as opposed to the Hottie S. So, um, you know, either way though, no matter what one you choose, this is going to be your claw or fingertip. Anyone that is a palm grip gamer, do not buy this mouse. I don't care how small your hands are. Uh, with the hump and the sizing, it's just not made for you, I'm sorry. Uh, even myself with medium sized hands, I did find this a little bit smaller than my enjoyment. That's not a knock on the mouse, that's just personal preference. With it being really narrow, um, as I recently reviewed the MM711, it's a much wider mouse and for the size, I do like how wide that is compared to the Hottie S. Um, going from there though, all in all, G Wolves, they got a banger on their hands here. I really do like this mouse a lot. Um, it is a complete mimic of the final mouse. We, we all know that. They don't get any points for creativity. However, they always have different colorways. Um, you know, once I ordered mine, they decided to announce the red and black one. So I'm sure more colorways are on the way if this Stardust design isn't for you. And on the surface here, it does tend to show fingerprints really well. Um, so I'm hoping that other colorways down the line might even do a better job of hiding that. Uh, my only knock is going to be the rear side button, which I did not like at all. The USB uh, cable, while the cable's fine, I wish this was USB-C. I know that on the average gamer is not gonna be taking this in and out, but um, I would have enjoyed it to be USB-C. I think it's kind of ridiculous that we still have devices being sold with a micro USB uh, on the tail end of 2020. And also I do recommend the grip tape with any mouse that does have its sidewalls being honeycomb. Uh, it's just not comfortable to me. Maybe it is for you, uh, but luckily they do include grip tape to put on the sides as well as on the hump and mouse one and two. So you do have flexibility with this mouse and they really kind of give you all the options available here. So definitely check it out. I'll leave a link for both Max Gaming and G Wolves uh, below. And please let me know uh, what you guys like or don't like about it. And what is your perfect mouse? Uh, is it this one or is it something coming out or something that's already been out? Let me know at the bottom. You guys have yourself a great night. Thank you.